All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, because of us. Double honors to my apostles and elders, the great millstone who rule will, teach will, being great example to his brother. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elected visual scattered abroad. It's your brother Sakar coming to you with another uh, lesson, pretty much, man, here on this uh, so called holiday, uh, Hella Day, so called New Year's Day. The Apostle Tahar already coined the year, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, Lord willing, all these prophecies come to pass this year. Okay. Lord willing, all the prophecies come to pass this year. But yeah, man, we're going to go into this. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 58. And it says, uh, I start at one, and it says, Cry aloud. And, and, and let me give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, one more time. You know, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bashim, Yahweh, Kadash. Hopefully, this message is edifying to the flock, the Hebrew Israelites, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, okay? You are the Hebrew Israelites in the Holy Bible, according to the Holy Scriptures, okay? The Twelve tribes of Israel, Judah, the American blacks, okay? Benjamin, the West Indian blacks, Levi, the Haitians, Ephraim, the Puerto Ricans, Manasseh, the Cubans, Simeon, the Dominicans, Zebulon, the Guatemala, the Panama, the Mayans, Gad, the Native American Indians, Reuben, the Seminole Indians, Asher, the Colombians, the Uruguay, the Incas, Issachar, the Mexicans, okay, Aztecs, Naphtali, Argentina, the Chile, so all you people, okay, if your fathers go back to any of these tribes right here, then any of these people, then you are a Hebrew Israelite, you are of, of, of the tribes of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel, which were so-called lost, but they've been found, okay, especially in these last days, leading up to the coming of our Lord, Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, okay. Our Lord is coming to this place to save us and redeem us out of the hand of Esau Edom. Esau Edom is the so-called white man, okay? Whenever Esau came out, he came out uh, he came out hairy like a hairy garment. You, you, if you look at so-called Negroes, they don't have hair all over them like the white folks do, especially whenever they start getting you know, past elementary school and middle school and stuff like that. You notice like they got hair all on their legs, all on their arms and you know, this, that, and the other, hairy, just hairy, and they got hair all over their backs and stuff, man. That's how you can tell who es Esau Edom is, man. He's a hairy man. He's a hairy red man, okay? Not only does he got that hair, but he, he's red. He's a red people, okay? He tries to call the Indians red. But the Indians were brown just like me. They were my brothers, okay? They were the tribe, they were the tribe, they were the tribe, they were the tribe, the tribe, just like me, okay? This is Isaiah chapter 58. Verses 1, it says, Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sin. Who's Jacob? The Israelites, man, the people that's on that chart. Show you your sin, your sin, your sin. What is your sin? Your sin is going against the law, statutes, and commandments of, of our Lord, okay? Worshiping idols and, and going out and horn around with these different religions uh, and disrespecting your God, disrespecting your Father, man. Okay, whose name is Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. Okay, that's his name, and that's what our, our transgressions are. That's why in the book of uh, Deuteronomy, chapter 28, it tells us uh, what we did when we went off. You know what I'm saying? Went off against our Lord, man. Therefore, he put them curses upon us, man. Okay, because we went off against our Lord. So right now, the brother, brothers out here on the highways and by, byways crying, crying loud and sparing none, okay? Lifting up our, trip, our voice like a trumpet, man. Let me read that again. Isaiah 58 and 1, cry aloud, spare not. Spare not, spare nothing. Let it all out, man. Okay, let these people know what the business is, man. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression. Who's the Lord's people? The Israelites, man. Okay? And the house of Jacob, their sins, okay? So the house of Jacob, who's Jacob, man? Jacob's name was later turned to Israel, man. 
after he wrestled the angel. Okay. He wrestled him, and his leg was out of socket while he was wrestling him, man. So, you know, we are strong people, man, you know. And we're fighting people, too. We're a fighting nation, you know. All the time we went to war, okay, before we would go into different captivities, we would fight these people, man. We would, we'd be tearing their ass up. You know what I'm saying? The Lord be on our side, but then, you know, certain individuals or, you know, Israel as a whole would go off, then the Lord would let people take us into captivity, man. You know what I'm saying? Every time we went off, just like we did this last time, we're willing to be the very last time here in America, here in Babylon, Mystery Babylon the Great, man. okay? That'd be the very last time we went off as a people, okay? As Israel, okay? Because right now, according to the book of uh, uh, Ezekiel 37, like these dry bones, like the Lord, the Lord prophesied, you know, through the scriptures, okay, that these dry bones would rise up an exceedingly great army right now. And these last few years, you've been seeing uh, a lot of Israelites coming into the fold, man. Okay? A lot of people waking up to the fact that they're Israel. Okay? Waking up to the fact that they're Israel and, and, and coming back to the Lord wholeheartedly. Or just being a damn scoffer and, a, and just, oh, I'm Israel now and I know I can be saved and this, that, and the other. And they still go back into the world and do their abominable works. But a lot of folks is waking up, man. Okay, let me go to that book real quick. Because in the last days... We will be waking up, man, okay? And this is the new year, the first day of the new year, okay? And already, I guarantee you, there's a bunch of deaths already, man. There's a bunch of deaths in the earth right now, man. Bunch of people dying, man. Bunch of people dying already. It's only been a few hours into the new day so-called uh, new holiday that these, these dumb devils call it, man. Okay? So Ezekiel chapter 37. And I'll start here at, uh, I'll start at one that says, The hand of the Lord was on me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. Okay, a valley that was full of bones. So he carried the brother out. Okay, and sent him in the midst of a valley that was full of bone. That valley is that valley, the shadow of death. America, a.k.a. Uh, Babylon the Great, Mystery Babylon, man. Okay, that's what that is. America, Babylon the Great, man. The, sh the, the valley, the, the valleys of the shadow, as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Remember Coolio was saying that in that song? Yeah, he's, he's, his ass gone now. But, yeah, that's America, Okay. It says, and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones, and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in an open valley, and lo, they were very dry. Now, these bones was uh, uh, symbolizing the house of Israel, pretty much, man. They were raised up in these last days, all these different camps that are around America, man, and, and mainly... Uh, uh, for the elect, the elect men out of these different camps, these these dry bones are rising up, man. You know, out of the great millstone brothers, even some of the other camps. You know, they might be different brothers that are sincere that the Lord loves out of those different camps. Just because they they a bunch of them don't go off, just because they're not GMS or, or they're not you know men of valor brothers like we came up under. And some of those brothers in those different camps that may be sincere, that the Lord loves, man. He's going to bring them out of those different camps, man, because they're going to come over to GMS and the men of Baylor brothers, man, like-minded different brothers before those different days, man. The Lord's going to make it known who his, who his flock is, pretty much, man. Brothers going to be doing healings, all types of things, man, in this earth, man, before those days, before those days uh, come to pass, man. Jacob's trouble is coming. That that seems nearer than uh, even uh, the MLTB. Obviously, that that that's coming. You know, 
So, like, we're in year 2023. We're the first day of 2023, and we're sitting here, and we're thinking to ourselves, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, all this, this, this Christmas this past year, this New Year's, all these holidays, they really didn't mean anything to anybody, man. You can see the, the people's people's uh, whole demeanor and their whole spirit was all messed up, man. And we were sitting back happy. We was happy that they we was kicking in the house, you know, eating some cheeses or whatever, and you know, hanging out, doing, watching the movie and shit, kicking it while everybody else out stressing out and going shopping on uh, uh, Black Friday right before Christmas after Thanksgiving and all these things, man. You know, we was we was just kicking it, man. Okay, because hey, we we know what's about to happen, man. And in this new year that's coming in this day, you know, they're about to introduce that CBDC, you know what I'm saying, to, 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 you know, they already did a trial through the banking systems and stuff, you know what I'm saying, but they're about to introduce it to the people. These people, don't, they're not even going to know what hit them, man. But they got to do something, like, huge. I don't think that they're going to be able to just uh, show it to the people, you know what I'm saying? They're not going to be able to just show it to them, like, hey. This is what you got to do, man. Transfer your money over to this, this, that, and the other. And people, that, that'll take years. So they got to do something, man. They got to do something huge to make people uh, get get on board, man. And that's why I think uh, just me being a man personally, they might. Like my dream, some of my dreams becoming true. I had a dream of an EMP, man. You know, it was up in the air. You know? It was like a bubble, man. It, it, was, it exploded, but it was like a bubble. And I remember I was on the highway, man, and, and everything shut off. The car shut off, and uh, everything shut off, man. The the lights on the highway, everything shut off, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, the car shut off, my phone shut off. And I think that's going to happen. That's Something like that's going to have to happen for them to bring in their new world order, man. Okay? That's what they're trying to bring in. Okay? And it's, it's about to get crazy out here in this earth, man. Like, you know, the book of uh, Second Edges says, you know, we go into the book of Second Edges, chapter 15, verse 16, man. There's going to be sedition among men. There's going to be a bunch of things happening, man. A whole bunch of darkness, man. A whole bunch of people that are homeless. A whole bunch of people that are hungry. Okay, so hopefully this year, man, like the Apostle Elder Tahar deemed the year, man, you know, hopefully this year is the year that all the prophecies come to pass, man. All the prophecies. I, I was thinking about that word, all, all. Okay, all, that means all of them, all the last few prophecies, the MOTB, World War Three. okay, these things, we hope that these things come to pass, man. Jacob's Trouble, those are the last three prophecies, man. And they're going to come in order, one after another, okay? Now let me get this in the book. Of Second Edges, chapter fifteen and sixteen, and it reads, "I'll get uh, fifteen and fourteen. Second Edges fifteen and fourteen, and it reads, "Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall fight against another with swords in their hands." There shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Okay, so this is talking about basically like, hey, people about to rise up in sedition amongst the government, uh, against the government. Okay, you got all these Edomites that are outside uh, and, and outside in the woods training all hours of the day, you know, training with different uh, weapons, different uh different cannons, different guns, different, you know, different bullets, different ammunition. They're out there training in the woods somewhere, man. Getting ready for what? Getting ready for the civil war that's about to come, man. The, the beginning of Jacob's trouble. Whenever this Esau, this damn devil, okay, is going to come out those woods like he came out those, uh, those clefts of those rocks, of uh, uh, those Caucasus mountains, okay, and try to take everything over, man. Try to cover the faces of the judges thereof, cover the faces of the judges in mud, Okay, and blood and mud and put put them up under the dirt somewhere. Okay, try to cover it up like they did some of these towns that, that they bombed, these black towns. You know what I'm saying? They try to cover everything up. Okay, so these these damn devils are in the woods somewhere trying to get ready for you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and then you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans ain't even 
uh, realizing that you got an enemy. You don't even realize people are out there in the woods training to kill your ass, man. You know what I'm saying? They're training, training to take you out. You see? So there's going to be sedition among men. People are going to be invading each other, man. People are going to be very hungry in this world, man. As you can see, the price of food keep on going up. The price of everything keep on going up. Everywhere you go, man. You, damn, this cost this, this cost this, this cost that. What the heck, man? It used to be this. That's because of inflation and uh, hyperinflation. Lord willing, that sets in. Lord willing, all of this horrible things set in, man. So we can get the hell up out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? So a uh, bunch of things about to happen in the earth, man. This is Second Edges chapter 15. And I'll start at 12. I'll go back to 12. It says, Egypt shall mourn. That Egypt right now is talking about America pretty much, man. The spirit of Egypt. Because we, the Hebrews, Hebrew Israelites, were in Egypt uh, whenever we was building the pyramids and bu building this, building that. Whenever Moses, who was an Israelite, a Hebrew, he, uh, through, the, through, the, through the mercies of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh our Lord, our God, okay, Helped us uh, get uh, escape Egypt, man. Okay, so 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 that 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 same kind of uh, escape plan is being put to put to uh, put into action right now, man. And how are we gonna escape through believing in the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Okay, and having faith in Him that He's gonna help us. Okay, and most importantly, having fear in Him and obedience to Him, man. Okay, that He's gonna help us get out of this. Uh, this this horrible situation, man. We're in Egypt all over again. Pharaoh and all his people are trying to kill us, man. Okay? They, they hate our guts. They hate him that rebuke us in the gate, even some of our own people. Okay? So we're behind enemy lines everywhere we go. We're on the FBI's most wanted list. We're on these lists and all these different lists, all because we preach the word of the Lord, man. Okay? So we're behind enemy lines. Every time we go to sleep and wake up, we're at war, man. Okay? Nobody out here is at war like the men of the Lord, man. These people, uh, they gave their life to Satan, man. Okay, so that they don't they don't have to go to war like us, like we, we go to war every day, man. They already gave their life to uh Satan, man. Okay, Satan don't even mess with him. He don't send demons after them, man. Because they already they already over on that other side, man. So it says, Egypt shall mourn, and the foundations of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment. That God shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall fail. That means the food ain't gonna come, man. As you can see, there was a big uh, during the harvest last year, the harvest of the farms and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like they they threw a bunch of uh, chicken away, they threw a bunch of uh, cows away, a bunch of cows got slaughtered, killed, just out of nowhere from some sickness. They they threw a bunch of eggs away, threw a bunch of milk. Okay, so so the harvest that that, that was for to, supposed to be for this upcoming year is going to be horrible, man. It's going to be horrible. The yield that they bring in, it ain't going to be nothing in these stores here in like two, three months, man. It ain't going to be nothing because, hey, they, they didn't really bring in nothing, man. They threw a bunch of things away, built, killed gates, uh, bought most of the farmland, okay? But he wants you to eat synthetic meats, but he buys the farmland, which... Livestock is supposed to roam the farmland. You're supposed to feed the livestock, clean the livestock, you know, make them, you know, reproduce. But he buying all the farmland, killing all the livestock, man. Okay, so we're living in that day, man. It says, Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation shall be smitten. America shall mourn, and the foundations of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that God, Yahweh, shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seeds shall fail through the blasting of hell and with the fearful constellation. Okay? And with the fearful constellation, man. Let me read number 14 again. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth not, and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hand. Why? Because of hunger, man. Why? Because of this, this dollar is going to fail. They're going to be trying to switch over to it. That's why they're going to have to do an EMP or something. They Because they're, they're not going to be able to just switch it over. It's going to take too long. People are going to be getting mad. They're going to get impatient. So they're going to have to do something, mess up everybody's money, and, and make them go up under one certain system. Man. This is uh, 
Second Ezra 15. And it says, uh, verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Men shall be afraid, man. Because of their pride. Men shall be afraid. All this pride that's in, some, in America, man. You know what I'm saying? All this all this pride. You you look at it, you see it, all of it, man. It just makes you it just makes you want to just uh it makes you uh Want to strangle one of these devils, man? Like, look, look at, look at how he run, man. Look at running like this and shit. Look, look, got a mask on and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Like this, 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 this person just do, man. These people are proud, man. You know, Live, living, living their best life, living, living a little bit, living the rest of it, living the rest of their life, pretty much. But these things are about to happen upon the earth, uh, upon the world, man. Especially here in Babylon the Great to these people, man. You know? People are gonna be robbing their houses, man. They think that a bunch of people that uh, they went out prepping, right? They call it prepping. And they got food stocked up, water and everything stocked up. But the scriptures, uh, the Lord said he's gonna leave that for us, man. You know, it's not gonna it's not gonna go to you people, man. It's not gonna go to you, man. Okay? They wanna stack up riches, uh, for the end, what does the scripture say? Stack up riches for the end, end of days, man. You know, instead of stacking up riches in, in the kingdom of heaven where moth doesn't corrupt. You know what I'm saying? They want to stack up. So so those riches that they stack up, those are going to go to the elect, man. You know what I'm saying? During those times of Jacob's trouble, during those times of war, okay? And these people hiding somewhere and, you know, things, things, up getting, things end up happening to them. They end up dying. They uh, they bought all this food and everything, this big ass bunker and everything for nothing, man. And the elect gonna be sitting up in there chilling for a few months or whatever, man. You see, this is uh, this is uh, Second Edges chapter fifteen and nineteen, and it says, "A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword." And spoil their goods, okay? Destroy their houses with the sword. His own neighbor, man. He been sitting there with his neighbor, kicking it with his neighbor all these last five, ten years. They they sit back on the porch together. They go fishing together and all that. But in that day, in the day of the Lord, man, whenever he's putting a uh, mass judgment upon this place, man, you and your neighbor going to be the worst of friends, man. Okay? You're going to be the worst of friends. Your neighbor going to be trying to kill you. Be trying to kill your kids. Be trying to take your ass out. Maybe trying to eat you because he's hungry. Okay, you might be trying to do that to your neighbor. You're trying to eat him, trying to find this, uh, find him slacking, find to catch him slacking sometime in the morning, the early morning when he's trying to heat his car up or something. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to get in his house, trying to get his food, trying to get his goods. Okay, your kid's homesick and stuff, this, that, and the other. They need some food. Okay, these are the kind of days that we're coming into, man. This is the kind of days that we're coming into, man. That book of Lamentations, whenever, uh, the lady was, uh, uh, they was wanting to boil uh, the baby and shit. They was wanting to boil their own kids, man. They could be boiling their own children because of the lack of bread, man. Okay, and what the Lord said, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, man. Okay, let me pull some of these scriptures out, man. You know, let's go to the book of Lamentations real quick. I'll hold that 15. Let's pull some of these scriptures out real quick. We might, we might as well pull them out because this, this is the days that we're coming into man hopefully this this year 2003 be that year man okay this is limitations This is Lamentations. I think it's in four. They're talking about boiling those kids, man. This is uh, Lamentations. Yeah, because women are horrible to their children anyway these days. I'll start at four. Chapter 4 and 3, and it says, Even the sea masters dry out the breast, 
They give suck to the young ones. The daughter of my people has become cruel like the ostriches in the wilderness, man. The tongue of the sucking child cleaveth to the roof of his mouth for thirst. And the young children ask bread and no man breaketh it onto them. Okay? So this is basically saying, hey, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latino, Native American women, man. Okay, you, you barely even care about your kids. The reason you, you, you having kids these days just to get another piece of a paycheck and shit, man. You don't care about those kids. You have them and then you, you throw them in a room somewhere. They got phones and everybody on the phone until everybody go to sleep in the morning. Only time you deal with the kids is whenever you're taking them on the school bus or taking them to school, dropping their ass off and, 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 and picking them up in the morning. That's that's the only time you really deal with them. You don't even know your kids anymore like we used to know our children back in the day. Okay? You don't even know your children anymore. Okay? It says, uh, See. I think it was a limitation. I know there's an account. Let me see. I know there's an account whenever King Solomon had to judge the ladies. Yep. Is that, is that the one that I really wanted? This is uh, Lamentations 4. And I'll start at 8. And it says their visage is blacker than coal. Okay. Talk about the Israelites, man. Their visage. Okay. Their, their, their look. The, the way they look, man. Especially because they was hungry in these days. Okay. It says... They are not known in the streets. Their skin cleaveth to their bones. It is withered. It has become like a stick. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slung with hunger. Because it's about to get in that, that type of that type of mood, man, out here, man. All your McDonald's, your, your Wendy's, your, your Burger Kings, all that shit about to go. It's about to, like, like the lesson I made a while ago, man, it's going to be a forced fast in America, man. Because these fat-ass Americans never took a day off of eating in their life, man. They never took a day off of eating something, man. And they fat and overweight and juicy as fuck. Now the Lord going to make a forced fast in this place, man. To the point where these fat-ass motherfuckers going to be thinking about eating their own children, man. Okay? It says, They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these pine away, stricken through for want of the fruits of the field. The hands of the pitiful woman have sodden their own children. Sodden, if you go into that word, sodden. The hands of the pitiful woman have sodden her own children. That means the, the hands of this woman have boiled her own children, man. Cut her own children, body parts up and boil it in the water for chicken, for meat. Okay? The hands... This is uh, Lamentations 4 and 10. The hands of the pitiful woman have sodden their own children, boiled their own children. They were their meat in the destruction of the daughter of my people, man. Woo! The Lord ain't joking, man. The Lord ain't playing no games, man. He would make you so hungry that you would be thinking about killing your, you would kill your own kids and eat them, man. Okay? These are the days that we're coming into, too, man. These people think they're going to keep getting away with it, man. They think they're going to be proud and happy all their lives and ain't nothing ever going to happen to us. We're Americans and all this other stuff, man. Okay, these people have a, a, a huge uh, recompense coming up on their heads, man. They always talk about, oh, that was our forefathers. It wasn't us. We didn't do it. Oh, this, that, and other. Hey, yeah, you are your forefathers, man. Therefore, therefore you did do it, man. And we're coming to, and, and we're going to come with those chains, okay, and take you out of those damn uh, bunkers that you got. And you're going to go into slavery, man. Thus saith the Lord. Okay? Let me get this, man. Yeah. You're going into slavery, Jack. This is uh, Revelations. 
chapter 13 and 9, and it says, If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Okay, so those people that put us into captivity, they're going to go into captivity. Okay, those people that put yokes around our necks and shit, they're going to have yokes around their necks, man. Okay, the same people that hung us up from trees and, 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 and did all these things and, and threw our babies, the alligators. Okay, all these things uh, had, had, had uh, intercourse with our women. Okay, raped, robbed, and murdered them. Okay, made our women give suck to their children. Okay, raped, robbed, and murdered our little, little girls, little boys, man. Okay, the same people that did all these things to us, man, we're going to pay them back tenfold. But we're not going to be like that up on them, man. We're not going to be uh, one of those type of people that want to rape, rob, and murder people, man. Okay, we're gonna. our laws are going to be righteous, and, and, and justice is going to go forth in a righteous manner, man. Okay? It says, verse 10, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints, man. So, hey, the patience and the faith of the saints is, hey, these same devils that did these things to our Lord, put them up on that damn cross. The same devils that did uh, these things to, our, to the prophets, okay? Even if they were Israelites, the same devils, man. You of your father, the devil, like the Lord told him, okay? All these devils that did things to our Lord, that hate the Lord, to hate the, the works of the Lord, to hate anybody talking about the Lord, the Lord going to pay all you people back, man. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashemi Shai, he's going to pay you people back. Okay, what's the scripture say? Uh, he that uh, would not that I'd bring over to him, bring here before me and slay him before me, man. Okay? Slay him. What's the scripture say? He that would not that I'd bring over him, bring hither, right? Slay him before me. That's what the scriptures say. Right? Let me get it real quick. This is Luke. Right. Luke chapter 19 and 27. And this is red letter, man. Red letter, man. That means that Yahweh Shai is speaking, man. Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. See, that's the problem. With a bunch of people in this world, they think that the Lord Jesus Christ, his name ain't Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai Mashiach, okay? But they think that our Lord is a big teddy bear. They think that he's always going to be nice and he saves everybody and all this other stuff. But the scriptures say differently, man. Even in the New Testament, the book of Luke, chapter 19, okay? Our Lord said, but those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. That's in the red letter, man. So the Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, he's not a nice man, a nice character like these people think that he's going to, he's being, man, that he's going to be to him. Let me read that again. Luke 19 and 27. But those of mine enemies, who's the Lord's enemies, okay? The ones that like to live in darkness and not light, man. The ones that like to do uh, evil in the world, man. Especially Esau, Edom, man. Okay, this damn devil. Okay, that the Bible speaks of, the blue-eyed Satan, man. Okay? That's roaming the earth right now, man. Okay? That's getting his skirt lifted up these last days. We're seeing everything that he's doing, okay? Especially through his science, so-called. Okay? In his medical field, his medical system. The Lord is lifting up this devil's skirt for everything that he's been doing in the earth, man. But let me finish out what our Lord was talking about pretty much, man. Hey, our Lord ain't no damn teddy bear, man. He ready to destroy people, man. Okay? It says, But those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. That's what the Lord said, man. Okay? What the book of St. Uh, Matthew say also, St. Matthew chapter 10, our Lord says something kind of similar to that. St. Matthew's chapter 10, right? Or it might be 4 and 10. Yeah, it's 4. St. Matthew's chapter 4. And uh, verse 10. No, it's not chapter 4. It is St. Matthew's chapter 10. 
But hey, man, you think that the Lord's a big teddy bear, but he's not a damn teddy bear, man. Okay? It says, uh... St. Matthew's chapter 10. Yep, verse 34. St. Matthew's chapter 10, verse 34. And it reads, Think not that I'd come to send peace on earth, okay? That's written in red letter, man. That's written in red letter. So our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, is not coming to send peace on this earth. Okay, let's read it again. St. Matthews, this is in the New Testament. Okay, everybody everybody thinks that they know the Lord. They think they know the Lord, but they, they don't know these things. Your pastor don't teach you these things. It says, Matthews 10 and 34, think not that I'd come to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword. Okay, I come not to send peace, but a sword. Now, why, why would he, how would Mashiach come to send a sword instead of peace? Look at these proud people, man. So why would he come to send a sword instead of peace, man? Because he's fed up, man. The same people that, they're, they're, they're the same people that say, we don't need God. Don't talk to us about God. Don't prophesy to us about God and what God's doing in the earth. These are those same people, man. Okay? Same people that wanted to get Daniel in trouble. Oh, he's he's prophesying. He's praying to his God. What should we do about it? The same people that wanted to get the prophets in trouble, man. Okay? Paul and, you know... The brethren, man, you know, don't don't prophesy in our town. Get out of here. We don't want you in our. You don't want your kind over here. We keep prophesying about God all the time. Why you keep talking about God? Okay, because we can't help it but to talk about God. Right? We can't help it. Okay. So Matthew's ten and thirty four. Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's foes. <coughs> a man's foes, meaning his enemies. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household, man. <coughs> so as you look out into the world, you're seeing all these things come to life already, man. You see? You're seeing all these things come to life already, man. A bunch of people, a bunch of uh, family members are, are killing each other off. There's plenty of videos of, uh, there was this video of this son that um, was shooting at his father, man. You know, because his father didn't want him to bring his gun inside of his house. That was like two years ago. And there was all types of videos of uh, mothers and fathers, uh, like, you know, you'll see it on the news where a mother left her, her, her son he drowned them and left them in the freezer somewhere. You know, so all, all these things are happening in the earth, man. Okay? <laughs> and the Lord said they were going to happen, man. And hopefully that damn demon that... I remember that dude that just walked by. He's a damn demon back in the day. I didn't start coughing until his ass dropped past me. See, sometimes demons be jumping on people, man. Okay? They try to jump on you and terrorize you until you, you purge them out with the word of the Lord, man. With the prayers, man. Put up those prayers, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Shamar Abaka, you know, pray for protection pretty much, you know, in the Hebrew. Okay, because the Hebrew, whenever you're praying for protection, it hit harder than the other, than anything else. Man, you got to pray in the real Hebrew. So the Lord said, think not that I come to send peace on the earth, because everybody thinks the Lord's a big teddy bear, and he's going to bring peace on the earth to everybody, man. Okay? That's not what's happening in the book of 2nd Edges chapter 15 and 16, man. That's not happening in, in the book of St. Matthew chapter 24, which we can read that real quick. St. Matthew chapter 24. And it says, uh, St. Matthew 24. 
and six, and it says, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must first come to pass, but the end is not yet. So all we, all day, every day, we're hearing of wars and rumors of wars, man. All day, every day, wars and rumors of wars. Ukraine, Russia, uh, all these things. All day, every day, wars and rumors of wars, man. And before the Ukraine thing, we was hearing about uh, China and Taiwan and, 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 and uh, America and Iran and, you know what I'm saying, all these different places. R wars and rumors of wars for like the past 10 years straight, man. It says, for nations shall rise against nations, St. Matthew 24 and 7. For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences. And earthquakes in diverse places. Let's listen to the look at that word. Famines. That means hunger, man. Okay? These past few years, there's been all types of uh, homeless people and hungry people in different lines, uh, packed lines, man, with their cars, just trying to get a turkey or just trying to get a piece of, a of, of few pieces of chicken, a few pieces of veggies, okay? Some water, some bottled water. You'll see it on the news all the time. Just lines packed up, cars and cars. That's famine. That's called famine, man. And pestilences. That's that's that CV nineteen. These different diseases that are catching people off off uh off um you know from 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 from, from in, being in contact with people or just being in the air. Things that they're spraying on the air. You know what I'm saying? Different diseases, man. That that are in the water, the fluoride. Okay, different things that are mess up your teeth, that are mess up your 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 uh, your insides, man. These things that they're spraying on the crops, these things that they just have in the food period, man. Okay, as you notice that uh, in Europe and different places like that, it's lucky, man. My damn beard. If you notice in Europe and different places like that, they don't even eat the same kind of food they eat over here in America. Man. They don't eat that stuff, man. It says, "For nation shall rise against nation." Matthew twenty-four and seven. And kingdom against kingdom, and there should be famines and pestilences, which is sicknesses, and earthquakes. We see earthquakes all the time, man. Mudslides, earthquakes, uh, different uh, hurricanes. It says, and earthquakes in diverse places, all types of things. Uh, hurricanes, mudslides, earthquakes, all these things that you see on the news every single day, man. Okay? Verse 8. All these are the beginnings of sorrows, the beginnings of sorrows, the beginnings of mothers crying, man. Okay, beginnings of a bunch of people going through a lot of uh, things in the earth, man. Okay, so that's what we're seeing. Now, every day you turn on the news, you see dead bodies everywhere. It's like a haunted house, man. Okay, so 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 that's the that's the that's the vibe of the earth right now, man. A haunted house. It's the vibe of America, man. It's a haunted house here. Okay, you be seeing people, homeless people, and be on drugs and shit. They be they be like zombies now. It be like the damn zombie movies, man. They be they be leaning so hard, man. They back and be back here somewhere. Like they, they back and be their hand to be on the ground. Their head to be on the ground with their hand on the ground, but they but the legs is up in the air. It's just all types of just crazy shit, man. Just all types of demon shit, man. You know what I'm saying? So the, this these are the days that we're living in, man. So hey, our Lord ain't no teddy bear, man. Matter of fact, let's go to the book of uh, Deuteronomy. Chapter 30, uh, Deuteronomy 32. And this is one of my favorite scriptures coming in to this truth. Because once I heard this, I was like, man, the Lord ain't no joke, man. This is Deuteronomy 32 and 39. It says, see now that I, even I. So this is the, our Heavenly Father. Hey, I kill. I make alive. I, I, I'm, the, I'm the dude that does, does these things. It says, see now that I, even I. Am he, and there is no God with me, I kill and I make alive, <coughs> I wound and I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. The Lord said, ain't nothing that can deliver out of my hand, man, okay? I kill and I make alive, okay? The issues of death belong upon to the Lord, man, okay? So everything that happens in this world, you know, somebody gets sick, they're in the hospital for such and such long. Um, uh, you know, they get into a horrible, uh, car wreck. Okay. All these things are of the Lord, man. The Lord did it. Okay. 
This is Psalm 68 and 20. It says, he, let's go to it. It says, Psalm 68 and 20, he that is our God is the God of salvation. And unto God, Yahweh, the Lord belongeth the issues of death. So the issues of death, man, the, the, if you get real sick and die, you caught the C-19, the C, and we told you a few years ago when that C-19 first happened, it's going to go up to the C-30. So we, we didn't have C-19, 20, 30, you know, I was, <laughs> C-19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. <laughs> see, I can't even, look, we didn't have so many damn C-19 variants, man. You see? But the, but the prophets speak about these things, man. We told you it's going to be, hey, they, they ain't going to stop that thing till they get to like C8, 8 million, man. They ain't going to stop that because that's like a catalyst for them. I don't know if that's the word that I would want to use, but it's a, it's a, it's something that they can use as a gear to switch off and on to control people, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, it's like a, like you got a pipe, right? A water pipe, right? And you, 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 you can turn it down and shit. You can control the water and shit. That's how, that's how the C-19 thing is right there. And you can open that motherfucker up like this and you can control people like that, man. You know, that's, that's what, they, and they got that. They got that. It's like called a stop, a stop point or some shit. I forget, man. Be basically uh, measuring the PSI, the pressure of it, man. What is it called, man? Dang it. But basically, that's that C-19 for you, man. Okay, they're going to use that as a, uh, a means of measuring what they need to do and how they need to do it, the way they need to do it, you know, as far as martial laws or things like that, okay? And all that thing like that, man. They're, they're going to uh, they're gonna use that. I wonder if it's catalyst. They're going to use that, man. <laughs> yep. This is the book. This is the book of Isaiah 59 and 19. It says, So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. Okay, they're gonna fear. They're gonna fear the Lord. Why? Why are they gonna fear the Lord? When the enemy shall come in like a flood. Okay, just for some reason that made that that pipe situation made me think of a flood, man. Okay, because they can control that COVID night. They they can control that. You know, and then that, that whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? They can control that as far as controlling the people and shit. They can they can plug it. They can open it up, open the pipe, and just control. They can control that thing, man. That's their baby, man. They ain't going to never let that go, man. It says, but when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. That, that, that means like, in my, you know what I'm saying? Uh, basically, you know, Esau, Edom, they can control that thing. They control, They got that pipe to control. They can turn on something in the 5G to turn these mugs into zombies or whatever. You know, all these people... Uh, will be circling everywhere just like those damn animals and those uh, bugs will be circling everywhere, man. They can turn that on, man. That's their baby, man. Okay, so 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 who's to say that Esau Edom don't have the technology to, to turn people into zombies, man? To turn people into, uh, you know, just crazy individuals. Not necessarily zombies, but turn the, the tick up on, the anger up on them, man. Make them, make them kill each other, man, because it's all a part of their uh, New World Order anyway. Okay, so who's to say it, man? Plus the plus are the real enemy, Esau Edom, the people that are training in these woods, and they got bazookas and, and all these things, and plus the cops and, and military officials that are going to come in like a flood because nobody's going to want to take that juice. Nobody's going to want to take that. Uh, they're gonna they're not going to want to suffer that next lockdown, man. So they're going to release martial law on these people, man. Okay, and we've seen plenty of videos. Whenever they was going inside of people's houses and 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 and, and, um, and forcing their hands behind their backs, man, and taking their children up out of their houses, we've seen plenty of videos of these things happening, man. So that so so in that day, man, these these people are gonna come in like a flood, man. These people are and that day is coming up real soon. It's sooner than later, man. Okay, it says, when the enemy shall come in like a flood. 
the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. And I had a dream that we was on a plane and they were trying to get everybody to jump out. And it was a, it was a huge, a huge wave and it was coming towards the plane. And it was like, it was so huge inside the dream that it was about to touch the plane, man. And it was like, how are we going to get over this wave? Like we were all the way up in the air, but the wave was all the way up in the air too, man. And I, and what, what I thought about in the dream, even after the dream, I was like, that's a, that's a flood of people, man. Okay, and I perceived that, that that flood, we got past that flood and we went into the city, okay? I perceived that we made it through that flood, but there was another one coming, man. Okay, so those when we talk about floods, we're talking about a people. People coming in like a flood, man. An army, an army. You ever see armies march together in formation, man? That's like a flood, okay? It says, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Okay, so we're going to... We're going to hopefully have that, that power, man, in that day, man. Because Esau Edom's getting ready with all types of things, man. He got different robots, man. Okay, different robots that that, that, that can just uh, scope you out, man. They, they didn't release 2,000, 200,000 plus mosquitoes, drone mosquitoes in different parts of America, man. You never know what you're getting bit by. They could be biting you and putting that VACC in you. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what they're doing, man. Releasing uh, mosquitoes that that are uh, uh, that are drones, pretty much, man. You never know what these devils are doing, man. You never know what they're doing, man. Okay. So the Lord's gonna lift up a standard, man, just like in the book of uh, Isaiah forty-one. Okay. Let's go to Isaiah forty-one then. It's all through the Spirit, man. To Isaiah forty-one and fourteen. That's one of my feet. Yeah. And it says, Fear not thy worm Jacob. Slock you. Isaiah 41 and 14. Fear not thy worm Jacob. And ye men of Israel, I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a sharp, a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Okay, so the Lord said he's gonna lift up a standard. Okay? And this is how he's gonna lift up that standard. He says, Behold. I will make thee a new sharp thrusting instrument, a threshing instrument, a sharp thrusting instrument. That's a sword, man. Okay? A sharp thrusting instrument. That means he's going to make us killers, man. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp thrusting instrument having teeth. Thou shalt thrust the mountains and beat them small and shalt make the hills as chaff. Okay? Okay? <coughs> Lucky, so we're gonna thrust the mountains, man. man. I need some water, I wouldn't cough into that damn dream walk fast. Um, so the Lord's gonna lift up a standard, man, because we're gonna need the Lord to lift up a standard. We can't face Esau Edom, man. We can't face Esau Edom, especially the things that they're doing these days. They got these damn robots, like I said, they got they didn't release 200,000. Uh, small mosquitoes, drone mosquitoes that they got little computers on. They sending information back and forth and all this stuff, man. You wouldn't even know if one of them bit you, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, they got all types of drone technology. They got all types of things, man, happening. Okay? A lot of things are happening, man. You know, and I had that dream the other day about all those planets, and then I seen, uh, because I had a dream that I seen a bunch of planets, and they were all close up. And then I seen the article in the End Times headlines talking about there's going to be a rare phenomenon like one of these days coming up, you know, that you're going to be able to see a bunch of different planets close to the Earth. I'm like, damn, I just had a dream about that a week ago, man. You know what I'm saying? So a bunch of our dreams, a bunch of things that are that are, that, that the Lord said is going to happen are happening in the Earth, man. That means that all 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 the destruction and all the promises that the Lord promised us is going to happen to man. Esau, Edom going into slavery. All these things are going to happen, man. And we need to be happy about it. Let me finish up in 2nd Edges real quick. This is a... Uh, so all these things are going to happen, man. We just got to wait it out. This is a uh, second edges 
chapter 9 and 1 and it says he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself and when thou seest part of the signs pass which I have told thee before part of the signs pass okay so all the signs that are passing the world war 1 the world war 2 the world war 3 that's about to happen right now okay the digital currency coming in okay the MOTB coming in all these signs passing that we're seeing with our eyes, man. That's how you measure the time diligently, man. And we're seeing all these things pass, man. Okay, it's playing up on tables like the scriptures say. Okay, so we know that these things are going to happen. Plus, every time the demons attack us, we always call upon the Lord and then they have to leave us, man. Okay? So so we, 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 we're we at a point, a time in our lives where we don't got nowhere else to go but to the Lord, man. Okay, these people might have different places they gotta go. They they they're gonna they're making plans. We ain't got nowhere to go but besides the Lord, man. We ain't got nobody else besides the Lord. You see? We've made the Lord our fortress. We made the Lord our uh like in the book of uh Psalms 91. That's all we got. We ain't got nobody else, man. It says, and he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And that's how you can measure the time diligently. Whenever you just put all your trust in the Lord and put your trust in his prophecies and his promises, then you ain't, you ain't got nobody else. All you got to, to talk about is the prophecies. All you got to look forward to is waiting for the Lord coming back and saving you, man. Everything else, nothing else matters, man. What, 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 what do we have here, man? We got jobs and shit that we working hard as heck at. You know what I'm saying? Just do being a damn slave. We're not supposed to work slave labor, man. Then you never really get ahead. Okay, you got a... They, Esau Edom got this system set up, this credit system set up. Got birth certificates set up so, so that you could be a forever slave in the system. And now he's about to bring forth his, uh, his MOTB. His RFID microchip that he's trying to put inside of everybody's, uh, either their brain or in their hands or whatever, wherever it goes, man. Okay, so we have no continuance. We have no hope here. The only hope that we have is in Yahweh Bashimi Shai. It says, uh, Second Edges chapter nine. It says, uh, let me skip down. To five, it says, for like all is made in the world have the beginning and the end, and the end is manifest. We have no continuing city here. The end is manifest. Okay? This is the end of this place, man. You can't get no joy out of this place. The scriptures say the mirth of the city is gone, man. And it's, it's funny, too, because you be seeing, you know, mostly everybody's at the liquor store, man. <laughs> Literally, man. These people are just, uh, they're drinking their lives away. Okay, they just they they they're not really having any kind of fun at all, man. They think they they, they act like they are. Especially you get on Facebook and stuff like that. These people act like they're having fun. They act, act like they're having the best time of their life, but they're really miserable, man. You can tell that they're, they're just miserable people, man. It says. It says, uh, second address. And I'll skip back up. And it says, verse 5, Like all is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works, and endings and effects and signs. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works, okay? <clears throat> and by faith, whereby ye have believed. So by your works and by your faith, man. Okay, so we're living in the very end. The end is manifest, man. The end of Esau, Edom, so-called white man's kingdom. Okay? His kingdom is falling down. Falling down, okay? And it can't get up, man. It's falling down, like, down the brick, you know, like the elder in um, uh, Alabama say, man. He's trying to hold on to stuff, you know what I'm saying? He's falling and trying to catch on to stuff. But he's he, he, he falling so fast, and now it's just like breaking up fingers and everything. He can't catch on nothing, man. He's got to get. He's got to hit the ground. You know what I'm saying? So 
we're, we're happy to see Esau Edom falling, man. He's falling down, man. Okay? Come down and sit in the dust of virgin daughter of ba Babylon. Pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what, man? Like, this, this kingdom has to... Ha that's what people in America think. They think that everything's going to always be the same and shit. They think that everything's going to always be the same. Everything's going to be cool. Okay? But it's not. It's not going to be okay. It's Isaiah 47 and 1. It says, come down and sit in the dust. Sit in the dust. How'd you get in the dust, man? Sit is an action word, okay? So you must have had to, you had to sit your ass down. Who made you sit down? The Lord. You how about me? I was shot. He going to make you sit your ass down, man. This is Isaiah 47 and 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Who's that talking about? That's talking about America, man. Come down and sit your sit your ass down in the dust. Sit is an action word, man. The Lord going to force you and sit your ass down like this. Psh, sit down. Like a little badass kid you are, always experimenting on stuff. Esau, Edom, so-called white men, always experimenting. Oh, let's put this in here and put this in here and mess up all these monkeys and all this stuff. Let's just let's just make the world like in the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter two. Let's not uh, leave our part of voluptuousness. Basically, you know what I'm saying? The, the fatness of the earth. Like, like let's let's have fun. We know we're not the Lord's people. We're gonna. Have fun with this world and, and tear this mug up as much as we want to until the Lord come. Basically, that's what they said in Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2, man. Isaiah 47 and 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, a.k.a. America. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate, man. Everybody, everybody see your skirt lifted up, man. Okay? Okay? Everybody see your uh, skirt lifted up, man. Uncover, uh, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking for something, man. Yeah, Isaiah 47. Yep. Let me read it again. Isaiah 47 and 1, it says, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, okay? Because AK America, they think that they're going to live forever, man. Okay, America, the EU, NATO. They think that everything's going to be cool forever. Their technology is going to advance. And, you know, if they do have some bombs go off, they're going to be able to come back out and build back up and all that, man. But the Lord ain't going to let it happen like that, man. Because, hey, Esau, Edom's going down and he's going into slavery. And, and next up is Israel, man. Next up is the Israelites, okay? Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. We up next, man. Okay? We're going to have a righteous kingdom up, up on this earth, man. Sit on the ground, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Verse 2, take millstones and grind meal, uncover the locks, make bare the leg, okay? Uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. So the Lord is uh, uncovering your legs. Uh, you know, you like a little, you like a little harlot, man. You know, you like a little harlot and all the, all the, all the, uh, all the all, all the countries are uncovering your legs and shit, looking up under there, trying to see what they can see and shit. You know, you're trying to keep it away. You gave it to them before, but now you're trying to keep it away from them. Therefore, these 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 nations, they're going to be mad at you and they're going to uh, blow missiles up on this place, man. Okay, because she wanted to play harlot with everybody in the world. Okay, everybody played played the harlot with her. They was all playing harlot together, and now, hey, now we're getting to that age where, hey, hey. These nations are gonna take them some this time and shit. They ain't paying nothing. I'm gonna take me some. I'm taking me the you know the rape doctrine, man. I'm, I'm gonna take it. That's what they're gonna do to America, man. Yeah, pop her cherry, man. What does the scripture say? Uh, the land of unwalled villages. Go up to the land of unwalled villages. Okay. 
pretty much, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, hey they, they, why ain't they got walls over their villages? That means that they're not scared of something. They, they ain't worried about nothing. But America about to be worried about a bunch of things, man. It says, verse 3, Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. The Lord said, I will take vengeance and not meet thee as a man. Thy nakedness is going to be seen. That's why you see him these days not trying to teach about uh, slavery in the school system. That's why you see him these days not trying to. Uh, they're trying to take out. They're, they're trying to take down all those. Uh, those. Uh, uh, like those Confederate statues, you know, that statue of Theodore Roosevelt with the Indian and then the slave on one side. They're trying to take out, take down all those Confederate statues over the past few years because shameful spewing is upon their glowing, man. It says, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. So all these things that they've done in their past, okay, all these things that they've done to us, hung us up on trees, all these things, that they're, they're, it's coming back for them, man. It's coming and hunting them down, man. Okay? It's coming, down, it's coming and hunting them down. It says, yeah, thy shame shall be seen. And it's being seen by different countries, okay? And, and different countries are calling America out on her racist a racist acts. Okay, just think about it. The Ukraine thing, right? Before the Ukraine war, there was a there was a committee that got together talking about uh, getting rid of Nazism. You know, because I guess over in Ukraine and these different countries, they they still represent Nazism and or whatever. But every it was like fifty two countries that voted against that voted for getting rid of the Nazism, but America and Ukraine voted for it to keep it. Man, okay, you can look it up on your Google. Talk about Nazism and stuff like that over in Ukraine. It was about the time when the war started, man. Okay, and America and Ukraine were the only ones that voted for it. So they they for the racism, man. But but it's it's all the will of the Lord because the Lord said, I'm going to put enmity between you and Esau, man. Okay? And that word enmity, uh, yeah, it, it pretty much means, let me see if I can go into it. But uh, pretty much a hatred, man. Let me see. I might not be able to go into it because I ain't got no minutes right here. But we can might we might be able to get a little bit of it. What's in in mitty? Enmity, hostile feeling, rivalry. Look at that. So it's a rivalry between Esau Edom. And, and Jacob, man, so-called white man and so-called black man, okay? So not just not just a black man, but every man of color, the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man, which are Jacob. So enmity says hostile feeling, rivalry, malice, eternal, internal conflict, okay? So the Lord put enmity between us, this eternal conflict, man, okay? Let me look up that word. Let me see. Yeah, here at Genesis 3, basically talking about after the Eve and them ate the apple. Because that was the devil. That was Esau Edom. And, and if you can receive it, the spirit, you know, it, ain't, it wasn't no damn serpent. It wasn't no damn snake. No, it was the damn devil. Esau Edom, the so-called white man, was in the garden, man. Genesis 3 and 15, and he says, And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, okay, and between thy seed and her seed, okay? So Jacob and Esau, <coughs> ever since the garden, ever, ever since before they was even born, it was in the Lord's plan to put enmity between them, man. Enmity, malice, hostility, rivalry, okay? That's why we hate each other. That's why still to this day, 
You got these damn Edomites teaching their kids to say the, the N-word and this, that, and the other. The kids go to school cursing uh, black black children out. That's why still you got to this day, black kids go home to their parents telling them like this, this, that, and the other, this, that, and the other. They can't even help it, man. It's a rivalry, man, because the Lord put enmity between us, man. It says, uh, and between thy seed and her seed, and it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Okay. I don't know if that was a good enough. Uh, I don't know if that was a good enough. Uh, and plus the story of Jacob and Esau, whenever, you know, Isaac was on his deathbed, pretty much, man, you know. And uh, he blessed Esau with the fatness of the earth and, and the sword. Then he blessed Jacob. Okay, with with the fatness of the earth also, but with a, uh, you know, a, a, a everlasting uh, covenant, man. You know, said that Esau is going to have to serve Jacob. Okay, that's enough. That's enmity. And then whenever they're in the belly, okay, in Rachel's belly, you know what I'm saying? That was that that was that that rivalry that the Lord talked about here in Genesis three thirty one, or versus uh, Genesis three and fifteen, man. Pretty much, man. So the Lord don't want us to be together. He don't like us being with Edomites. He don't want us to have, because uh, he hates He hates Esau. He hates Esau too. What's the Lord say? Uh, and I hated Esau. Okay. Let's look what the Lord said. And I hated Esau. It says, Malachi chapter 1 and 2 and it says I have loved you saith the Lord yet you say wherein has thou loved us was not Esau Jacob's brother saith the Lord yet I love Jacob okay verse 3 and I hated Esau so the Lord is here is saying he hated Esau man okay then we just read in, in Genesis Okay, because he know that that, that that Esau is tied to that serpent. That Esau tied to Cain, who killed his brother because he didn't have a, a, a good enough uh, sacrifice, man. Lord asked Cain, Where, where's your, why is your brother's blood crying unto me from the grave? Say, so, am I my brother's keeper? That's Esau, man. That's the same spirit, man. Malachi 1 and 3, And I hated Esau and laid his mountains waste, and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness, man. You see? So the Lord going lay to his, lay his ass waste again real soon, man. Going to lay him waste again real soon, man. Lord willing. Lord willing, man. Lord willing, man. And Lord, Lord willing, we see it, man. I want to see it. I want to see it, man. This is the book of Ezekiel. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 28. So basically, man, this year, man, this year, this 2023, it's about to be one of them years, man. Lord willing, all these prophecies come to pass, man. Lord willing, man. Yahweh Ratzah. Because we need salvation. We need the Lord, man. We need the Lord real bad, man. Okay? We need the Lord real bad, man. This is the book.
I'm about to close it up, man. I think I spoke enough. I'm looking at different stuff that I wasn't even supposed to be looking at. Let me close it up with, uh, let me see. Let's go back, man. Let's close it up with, uh, because the Lord about to come through, man. And that's what we're doing pretty much right now, man. We're blowing the trumpet, man. We're pretty much blowing the trumpet, man. Okay? Letting people know that, hey, the Lord is about to come, man. Okay? The Lord is about to come and destroy this place, man, and gather his elect out of this place, man. So you need to be getting your, your act in order, man. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33, verses 1. It says, again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, who the children of our people, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. We're supposed to be speaking out to the children of our people, warning them of the coming destruction that's coming, man, telling them to get on the right side, man. The right side is that right side of the Lord, but a lot of our people, they don't like the Lord, man. They like darkness rather than light. Now, our Lord, Hamashiach Yahweh who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, he's that light, man. And they would rather not, man. You see? But we're supposed to warn them anyway. It says, Son of man, speak thou to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him in their as their watchman, if when he sees the sword come upon the land, he blow up the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and take not warning, if the sword come, and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. Because guess why? Okay, the, the, the people appointed him a watchman over him. He's supposed to be watching the city. Okay, and he didn't warn the people that there's that there were people coming to, with swords and, 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 and staffs in their hands. He didn't warn them about the coming destruction, man. Okay, so guess what? His blood is going to be upon his own head, man. It says, verse 5. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him, but he that take a warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah, man. It's lucky. So that's, that's what we out here to do, man. We out here to warn. We out here to warn our people, man, to get right, man, to get get right and, and get right with the Lord. You have about some have a shot, man. Okay? We out here blowing that trumpet, man. Letting you know that great danger is coming, man. Letting you know that there's a train that's coming towards you right now. And it's, it's, it's beeping the horn. It's, and that's us that's beeping the horn pretty much. Telling you, get out the way, get out the way, get out the way, move out the way, move, 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 move. But you you want to sit there on the train track and have another beer and shit, you know, sitting there having a martini on the train track, uh, shaking your ass and titty, like on the, uh, Instagram and, and TikTok and Facebook, all these things, man. That's all you people do is shake your ass and titties all day and act like you act like you're better than the next person, man. Okay. So we're blowing the trumpet. We're trying to warn you of the things that are coming upon the earth, man. We're trying to warn you about your enemy, man. We're trying to warn you that Esau Edom is your damn enemy, and he he really don't care nothing about you, man. Like you go to his job, you go to this, you go to this, you go to this for him, okay. But if you die today or tomorrow, man, he would just keep on moving on in his life. He don't give a crap about you, man. Okay. You see, you're giving all these churches. All your money, and then you're wondering why you, you you're never being blessed, and you're never you're giving them all this money and stuff. But then if you die the next day, they're not gonna pay for your funeral from all that money that you gave to them. They're not gonna help you. 
You're still going to be paying 14000 for this, that, and the other, this, that, and the other. They're not going to help all them uh, arms that you put into the the, the, the pot at the so-called Christian church, man. That shit fake as heck, man. You see? Only ones that's really trying to help you is the watchmen of Israel, man. The watchmen that are sitting out here on the highways and byways, man, trying to wake up our people. Those are the only people that's trying to help you, man. These folks don't care nothing about you, man. Especially when this devil come down with this great wrath, man. Okay? Revelations 12. And that's why we why, why, why we trying to warn you, man. Because we know that this devil is coming down with great wrath, man. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Okay? Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Woe meaning destruction, right? For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Okay, so he, he's he's coming down with great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time, man. Why has he got a short time? Because he knows that the, the Israelites are waking up for one, and he for two he knows that the, the chariots are here, and and, and 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 the scriptures say that they they they're going to enter into the house of the thief. Okay, so he, he's he's questioning himself right now, like, damn, I must be the thief. Because these damn chariots are here and I can't I can't hit them. I can't do anything about them. Okay, we got this space force. We're going to set this up just in case we have to fight them or whatever. We're going to set up these computers and all these things just in case there's an alien invasion one day. Then, then we're going to be able to fight them back with our uh, technology and all these things, man. But you're not going to be able to fight against the Lord, man. You're not going to be able to fight against the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Okay? So the scriptures tell us, hey, rejoice ye heavens and ye earth. And them that dwell in them because, hey, the quicker the devil comes down with great wrath because he knows that he has for a short time, the quicker we get out of here, man. The quicker we're going to be able to go home, man. Okay? So, <coughs> slap you. Anyway, with that, man, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Hopefully this message was edified, man. Shalom.